So I want to really quickly just show you on my rocksetter.com website. It says Gitpod, Gitpod, the amazing ready to use online, whatever, whatever. Here's what I want to show you is DFJS models and DFJS examples. I'm just going to open these both in a new tab. Uh, quickly, that's the screen you want to look at. Um, what we're doing is TensorFlow.js machine learning uh, using JavaScript um, expects you to install a bunch of things and get stuff going in. And it's, it's reasonably easy on your own um, laptop or, or desktop. And online, I used to do it with something called Cloud9. But um, this thing, this Gitpod thing, is really quite impressive. It, uh, it basically makes an online uh, node server of some sort. And so what I've done is I've taken these two examples and um, compiled all the uh, either examples or, or the models and have them ready to go, not instantly, but reasonably quick. Mm -hmm. Uh, there it goes, that's the models, and the examples are coming up. So what was that, maybe, maybe a minute? So what we have here, I've got some instructions. I've already done uh, install uh, node nine and install yarn. And so you can go to any of these folders, uh, placement for some reason is open, any of these folders and, um, uh, you know, uh, open the terminal, uh, type yarn, and it'll start uh, installing all the things yarn needs. And then yarn watch, yarn watch, and it'll load up. Uh, in this case, it's body picks. Uh, did I type something wrong? Maybe it's yarn build in this case. Um, and, and the situation is I have already built these. And so if you come along here, you can just go back to this one. Uh, start Apache CTL, probably means control or console or something. There you go, we're exposing it. Now, a suggestion here is you don't touch that for about 20 seconds. So I'm gonna jump over to examples. Ooh, it's still, there we go. And I'm just gonna go right into this um, Apache CTL. And there it is, start it, and look up here for the expose. And once again, wait 30 seconds. So I'm gonna zip back to the models. Let's expose this. Let's open it up in a new window. The nice thing with a new window is you can uh, see if there's any problems. I'm just gonna open that again. So what we have is the body picks. Uh, this is the JS file that your program would use. You can go look through it. It's kind of hard to read. And here is a ready compiled uh, demo of body picks. And let's see if it works. Um, I'm assuming most of these work. If some don't, I'll, I'll probably fix it up and, and fix the snapshot. Uh, ooh, doesn't, uh, that's possibly because I'm videoing right now. So there we have one that didn't work. Uh, I do know I got close network. Oh, the camera. Yeah, these aren't going to work when I'm using the camera. Uh, let's go over to these examples. Let's expose that. By the way, if uh, the expose isn't there, I actually prefer using this ports thing. You can open or open in the preview here. Preview is kind of handy. Uh, that didn't work. And I'm going to open in the browser. There we go. So these are all the TensorFlow.js examples. Uh, let's just run the addition. Um, train the model, and I like to control shift I, uh, look for errors. This one's a little slow to train, probably better to do the iris one. Um, I'm going to, if I can, get back to here, and let's see if I can preview it. Nope. nope. Um, let's open the browser again. Let's go to Iris, because it's a little quicker to work with. And here we go. So, uh, Control Shift I to open up that thing. Uh, load a pre-loaded pre one, there we go. It's already analyzing it. I'm assuming if I dramatically change these, it would change it. Let's uh, train the model from scratch. There it's showing you. 
uh, dense layers, and it's only about 83 layers there. It's showing you the loss and the accuracy. And reasonably quickly, it uh, will finish up and put some information down here. See how it goes. There we go. So it's printed a whole bunch of uh, information with probabilities. So all of these are ready-made. There might be one or two that don't work, but generally I did test them. Um, it's all ready for you. What was that? Maybe three minutes. Uh, a little recap. Uh, you can go into these folders. Uh, these are the ones that you can go into the folders and do yarn and then yarn watch and open it up again. Uh, this is frozen for this date. You can probably um, update that with a git um, update command. So here we have, we've got models. Here we have the examples. If you go to my page, anything that looks like this, click on it. Have a look at it. Hopefully there's some instructions. Uh, it's called Git Pod, and it's pretty amazing. I'm going to try to fill in some more things here. I'm going to try to make some simpler examples of these examples that are already done in the, the big one. Try to simplify them a little bit. Good luck.